Welcome back to the Jesse Tree Advent Series. Today is the 18th day of Advent, or December 18th. Now, we've talked about prophets. We've talked about great men of the Bible. All of them have been in the Old Testament. Let's fast forward to the New Testament now, where we will meet a great man who's going to do things very unusually. John the Baptist. Jesus' cousin John became a preacher when he grew up. He lived in the desert and wore rough clothes and ate locusts and honey. John told the people to change their hearts and lives and ask forgiveness for their wrongs because Jesus was coming soon. One day when Jesus was grown up too, he came to the place where John was preaching and baptizing people. Jesus asked John to baptize him in the river. At first, John didn't want to baptize Jesus. He thought Jesus should be the one to baptize him. But when Jesus said it needed to be this way, John obeyed and took Jesus into the river and baptized him. As Jesus came up out of the water, God's spirit, like a dove, came down from him from heaven. God spoke and said, This is my son and I love him. I am very pleased with him." John was Jesus' cousin, and John loved Jesus, and Jesus loved John. But John knew that Jesus was the Savior of the world, and he was afraid to baptize him. But Jesus knew that that's how it had to be, because that's the way that God would want it. Oh, and God did want it that way, and he sent down a dove. He was so proud of his son. So today, if you're making a Jesse tree ornament, make a scallop shell. That reminds us of baptism because we'd scoop up the water and pour the water over the head of the one being baptized. Oh, such a pretty reminder of baptism. And when you hang it on the tree, let it remind you of your baptism and how we are made new with Christ. And if you don't remember that day because you were little, ask your parents about that day. Oh, I bet they have pictures or stories to tell you. I bet they do. How about a prayer for today? Glory be to thee, my God, this night, for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, O oh keep me, King of kings, beneath thine own almighty wings. Amen. <laughs>